So in this video, we're gonna become Mario. So after my last video, uh, the Harry Potter wand, if you haven't seen that, go, go check it out. I was thinking, what else could we do with that colored fire? Because in that video, I made red fire, I made green fire, orange fire, obviously. So whenever I kind of experiment around with a new type of like cool thing, I like to try and adapt it into uh, more than one project. So if you guys are familiar with Super Mario Bros, Super Smash Bros, really any game with Mario in it, you guys know that he has the ability to shoot fireballs. Now Mario's fireballs are red, but his brother Luigi's fireballs are green. And coincidentally enough, we know how to make green and red fire. See right here, this is uh, this is how it works. See, I want to keep playing with this cool fire, so I think of another excuse to uh, wrap it up in a video. Good job, Jake. <sighs> Self five. Now, unfortunately, I don't really have any uh, Mario or Luigi outfits at my disposal. So for now, we're just gonna be having to wear this uh, Jay a video shirt, available now, link in the description. Now, I don't think this project will be too hard at all. But we are going to be dealing with fire, so make sure you have adult supervision if you do attempt to try this at all. But really, that's not what it's meant for. This video is purely meant for entertainment. Um, so YouTube, as always, don't demonetize this. Whatever you do, that's on you. I'm just trying to be Mario. So with that disclaimer, let's go play with some fire. And I found my hoverboard. <laughs> Good thing, too. I almost had to walk places. All right. Let's, uh, let's find some stuff. I think these tennis balls will work. Just put them over here. I have a pretty solid plan on how to do this. Of course, we're gonna need our heat for the flame. I'll explain this in a minute. Ah, uh, boric acid. Ah, there we go. We need this. Gloves and mask, probably not a bad idea too. Throw those on there. Batteries, lithium batteries, also a good call. I think we need an electric lighter. Uh, I'd be an ignition source. Good thing, I think I have one. Oh yeah, just plug this in. Yeah, we're gonna need this. This is uh, pretty much an arc lighter that I already dismantled. I'll explain that later. Throw that on there. So the way this is gonna work is uh, we're gonna use some of this uh, methyl alcohol, methanol, heat antifreeze. But what we like about this is it's very flammable, but more importantly, it burns very cleanly. So if we pour a little bit of this on this metal surface, and uh, light it off with a torch so you can hardly see the flame. And that's what we like because that means we can add different colors to this fire to make it act the way that we want. So if we're doing Luigi, we can make it turn green. And if we're doing Mario, we can make it turn red. All right, so just kill the lights. Uh, and here's what I mean. So if we pour a little bit of this methanol, you can see it burns a really cool blue color. And all the impurities, like the little orange flame you see, are just from some residue that's left on here. But uh, this stuff by itself burns a very pure blue flame. To color it, we can use some uh, boric acid found in a uh, roach killer. You can get this like Home Depot. Um, so if we pour a little bit of this on here and uh, mix a little bit more of this uh, heat methanol on here, we make a solution, mix it up, then light it off again. We get a nice uh, green flame. So to color this fire red for Mario, we can take some uh, lithium from these ultimate lithium batteries And uh, again, we can mix it with a little bit of uh, antifreeze. And as you can see, we can get some nice red fire. Put this in a ball, and then we can become Mario. Oh, focus, focus. Now that we know how to make some freaking sweet colored fire, we need to figure out how to put it in uh, a ball that we can throw at things. So that's where the tennis balls come in. Now I saw backyard scientists do something like this with gasoline a while back. Um, so shout out to him, but uh, we're gonna try and do this with uh, this green fire. Also, Greek Gadget Guru did something like this. I think he made like a wire, like yarn ball or something like that. So shout out to him as well. 
But uh, here's how we're gonna do this. So I've got a cup with a little bit of, uh, I honestly don't know if this is lithium or boric acid, so uh, it's gonna be a surprise to me too. But take a little bit of this, mix it in with this. Very scientific, good job, Jake. I'm gonna mix it with uh, my professional mixing tool. Multi-tool, good for everything. Ooh, got a second camera, how you guys doing? Hopefully this works. If you guys are seeing this, I mean it did work. Cause I wouldn't have edited it in a mistake. This doesn't work, I'm still gonna put this in here, that'd be funny. So, we take our tennis ball. This one's a little bit burned, cause uh, I did this before. Ah, and uh, we're gonna mix it in with the solution. Just, the great thing about tennis balls is they're, uh, they're very absorbent. So uh, they can carry a lot of fuel, which is why we don't really need to wrap this in like cotton or anything. Call that good, light it on up. Actually, I'm gonna put on gloves first. And light it on up. Whoa, it's green turns out. Not too bad to hold, it definitely gets a little hot in the hand, but uh, if you're wearing gloves, um, it should be fine. This is going to be our Luigi Fireball. We'll make a red one for Mario, and we'll throw it at some stuff, have a good old time. And uh, best of all, you can put out these fireballs just by cupping your hands. Boom, goes out, just like that. So to make this a little bit more professional, I'm gonna be making a glove that will actually ignite these balls with the press of a button. So uh, that's where we got this little uh, tiny arc lighter that I already ripped apart. Um, so we're gonna be mounting that on there so we can hit a button with our fingers and the balls will light up. We're also probably gonna make some sort of container with fluid in it. We can store the balls for uh, whenever we wanna use them. Probably make them out of these tennis ball containers because they seem to uh, fit tennis balls pretty well. Who would have thought? Camera's still rolling, anything else I wanna say? Nope. Here's a montage of uh, me making this thing. Okay, so we've got the electric clip right here. Uh, when I press this button, uh, a little tiny spark jumps between this gap. And that should be enough to ignite the methanol soaked tennis balls, which I've got right here on my hip. So uh, I carry around two tennis balls. We've got one green and uh, one red for Luigi and Mario. Um, I don't know which one's which, so we're gonna find that out. Let's open up one container. Uh, I think this is the red one. And if I'm wrong, this is the green one. We'll just cut that out, which, whichever one, just edit it later. Oop. I haven't mastered getting these out yet. Okay, whatever, there we go. Now let's try this out. Put it in the ignition hand to make some fire. Oh, look at that, guys. How cool is this? Whoa. Luigi Fireball. Whoa. All right, put it out just like that. See, we can light it. And then put it out with our hands, just like that. Ooh, so that one's still lit. I can literally throw fireballs right now. The click of my hand can light it on fire. And then throw it at shit. 
This is so cool. It bounces too. Oh God. All right, let's try the red one next. There's a plane, helicopter, if you can just be quiet for a second. Don't make me. All right, time to meet Mario. Let's uh, grab our other tennis ball. Just ate a fire mushroom. About to level this up. Fire! Oh, looks like there's still a little bit of green on my hand from the uh, other one. That's okay. All right, this one works too. So now that we know that they both work, only thing left to do is a montage. Let's go. Alright guys, well that pretty much wraps up this video. If you did like it, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, I'm pretty much signing off in the middle of the street here. It's like 1 a.m. out here playing with some green fireballs. Pretty simple project, pretty cool to do. All it takes is some tennis balls and a little bit of chemistry and you too can be Mario and Luigi. So as always, leave your comments down in the description of uh, cool stuff you want to see me make next. Grab your t-shirts, long sleeves, jlazervideo.com, link in the description. It uh, really helps out my channel. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.